Good morning, one and all. Welcome and or welcome back to Heart of K. Purple Sky KT here. A little shorter this morning. I don't know why, but I'm going to go with the flow. How are you doing this morning? I hope you are doing well. I hope you ate well. I hope you slept well. I hope you woke up in your right mind. And if you didn't, I hope the day journey gets better. Life is definitely something that we can't always depend on the choices that we make. Sometimes in life, things happen for us to change our mind about something that seemed extremely important. And for me right now, it's managing my Instagram <laughs> account for Heart of K. Um, I did some things to it yesterday. I don't remember what I did, but it's still up there. So I'm going to try to check it out today later, hopefully, and see if I did make changes to the name, because that was the attempt, just to add KT, because that's just, it makes sense. At least it made sense to me, but I digress. This morning, I thought it was a good idea to talk and dabble a little bit into feminism and why I don't consider myself a feminist. One of the reasons that I have told many people is that how much I believe in the dynamic of a unity between a man and a woman. Right now, we're talking about free love and love yourself and love, you know, be free to love who you want to love and whatever. You want to love the same sex, fine. But if you want to love this, the opposite sex, that should be fine too. We're going to the point of what's more acceptable and what's not. I give, I, I don't care either way. Now that everyone knows that straight up, I just don't care. That doesn't mean that I'm saying you shouldn't have your choice. It's my saying, your choice is your business. Please do not make it mine. I was laughing with Tamika this morning because as you all know by now, Chardonnay is Tamika. Tamika is one of my younger sisters. And I said her name by accident. <laughs> and I remembered how it how I came about saying her name. Um, it's because while I was talking to you all, I just said, you know what, you know, just be comfortable. I mean, you're talking about Tamika. So when I said her name, that was the conversation. I had with myself and that's how the name came out so and she has no qualms with my using her name but I do call her Chardonnay because of the reason that I shared in a previous video and I say previous video because I don't know anything about I'm still learning about YouTube maybe I'll do those attachments eventually as of now I just like being able to sit down and have a nice conversation with you I did do a video about my love of for men in general. If there's anything I love the most about men is that they exist. That to me just does not fit into the demographic of what a feminist is. And I decided long ago that I just can't be a part of that concept without even thinking about the color of my skin. I found it very interesting that there were, that there are other black women who says the same thing. And these are women that are highly educated, educated or women that have experienced prejudice or racism in whichever way or form. I just found it fascinating. And then I decided that I knew better than to be a follower, that I do want to be a leader, not, ne not necessarily to lead a group <laughs> or lead any sort of foundation, but just to be one with myself as I continue to learn how to merge within this, within the world, rather. 
not necessarily just this thing called life. And still to this day, I don't regret that decision. Even though back then, it wasn't this bad. Where now men are afraid to approach us as women, not just because they don't know how, but because now they know what they were doing before wasn't working. It worked for some. It did. There are a lot of people that are married to these men who make them happy. They're not all bad. But I just, I cannot complain about a man, to a man, about rent if I'm working. I mean, yeah, we're complaining about rent when we have to pay it. Yeah. But if we're both working, why am I telling him he has to do this and do that? No. We're a team. We work together. We have to do this. We have to make this work. I just believe so much in unity more than anything else in the world. Yes, I am a fan of Queen Latifah's song, <laughs> UNITY. It's a great song. Yes, I remember that line. I understand that line in the sense of, yeah, punch him dead in the eye. I didn't do that, though. I just walked away. But then again, not too many men call at me. And if they did, I, I just ignored them. Because that's what I wanted to do. That was my choice. But then there's those that I do say hi to. I let them know that I'm not interested. Matter of fact, I more say hi than anything else. And I've only lied my name once. And that tortures me to this very day. <laughs> and I was in my 20s. It was just wrong, okay? To me. But I digress. So yeah, I'm not a feminist. Nor do I care to be. I still believe in a dream of love, life, and liberty. And I just want my partner to feel the same way. And with that said, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And as always, Salangel, stay safe.